a lot of the Westerners were kept distances from one another because of one of the primary fears was targeted drone strikes. So uh, people wouldn't really want to be associated with one another just in case, because we didn't actually have the list of who's on the drone list or not. So we'd really be scared of, okay, this guy might be and this guy might be, so it's better I just keep to myself. But Hamza, this is an extraordinary thing because if for anybody else, if you realise that you were on a drone hit list, then you might actually start questioning what the hell you were doing in Raqqa and why you were being a member of the Islamic State. Didn't you think that was a time to leave the group? Yeah, of course. There was many times where I thought, time to pack up and leave. And there's many times I did try to pack up and leave. But the reality was that it wasn't as easy as it sounds. It's a small group of very big fish, uh, which make all the decisions for all the people. Uh, it could be life or death decisions, decisions that change people's life Completely. Yeah, but you joined that group willingly. The, the the horror for most people is they had no choice over it. Syrians, Iraqis, Libyans, Yazidis, who were all uh, either displaced, who were raped, who were murdered by the Islamic State. You willingly joined that group. They had no choice. It wasn't, a, any, if you was to ask me, would you willingly go and join a group which consists of one, two, three and four? One, two, three, four being genocide, rape, enslavement, murder. Mm -hmm. Anyone in their right mind would have never, ever, ever gone over to join something of that caliber. So kind you weren't of, in your right mind then? I, I, I wasn't going to join this, something, or well, I didn't know that there was something waiting for me like that. So most of the foreign fighters, when they do step in, when you do talk to them, the first thing they'll say to you is that, we would have never ever come if we'd known the realities of ISIS.